Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find a like this video. Just subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, this is a warning. The Lord had me to warn somebody. There is danger ahead. Yes. There is a danger ahead. I repeat that word. When God is warning us, it is because he loves us so much. And he does not want any of us to be destroyed. God is warning somebody who desires the support of his enemy. God is warning you. If as a child of God, I know sometimes we are like, I need support, I need help. Because it can, it can really be lowly sometimes, you know. It can really be lowly sometimes. Like, we don't care. Wherever the support is going to come from, why? Because of a lot of things that is going on at that particular time. Because of a lot of challenges that is going on at that particular time. There are people who don't care. They are like, we need support. I need support. I don't care. You should care. You should care because light and darkness, they have nothing in common. The reason why God is warning us, because the devil cannot give a gift freely without asking for a price tag. There is always a price tag to anything, any favor the enemy do for their opponent. You understand? There is always a, 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 a price tag, you know, a price tag. So anything at all that the devil is giving to anyone. Devil does not have a free gift. If they are giving somebody a child, a time will come they will want the head of the person that they gave the child. If they are giving somebody money, they will want that person to kill people that are, that, that are closer to him or her, to sacrifice people in order to maintain their money. If they are giving someone fame, they will sacrifice their soul. They will use souls and as exchange for that fame to be maintained. So the devil does not really give anything and he give it and say, enjoy it. No. People only endure what the devil has given to them. They live with it in pain, in agony. But they are already trapped. Most of these people is like their soul is already locked up in a jar. Unless a heavy deliverance is being carried out and they as well are willing to break free, they can't get their soul back. Anyone that willingly give his or her soul to the devil, there is no amount of prayer you prayed. That will make that person to be saved. Until that person is willing to be free. Because the person sold their soul in order to maintain what he or she received from the devil. So until they are also willing to repent. You can only pray that God will show them mercy. You understand? God said, don't desire the help of an enemy. The help of an enemy. There is a danger ahead. No matter how they present the help. No matter how they present it like, oh, no, don't worry. It's free. We don't want you to bring anything for us. We are just doing it because we love you. It's a lie. Devil does not love anyone. 
he does not even love his own age the one his own agent his his members that he's sending for messages that he's sending messages these ones these people they pay a heavy price if they dare fail any mission that Satan have assigned them to go and carry out, they pay heavily for it. If they are asked to go and bring blood and get into the place they want to bring the blood, they see that that blood is not the one they can bring. Why? Because that blood has not been sanctified. Maybe that person is being preserved by the Lord. Maybe that person is serving God. They try to take the blood. To cause an accident and it did not happen. They return back to their master that they have failed. They pay heavy price. That is why you see agent of darkness. They keep trying to make sure they fulfill their assignment. They work very hard because they dare not go back and tell their master that they have failed in their mission. Because they do pay heavy price for it. It is only we Christians who are lazy. We Christians and some of us, we are very lazy. If you tell somebody, let's fast now. You are just like, you wake up, maybe the person woke up by, by 6 a.m. If the person is going to job or 7 a.m., maybe 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. is five hours, right? You are like, let's fast. You will see that many Christians cannot. But you see the workers of iniquity, they will go to the forest, they will go to the sea, they will go to the end of the stream to make sure they go and collect evil things to use against the people of God. God said I should want somebody. Don't desire the support of those who are after your soul. No matter how they present the support, deny the support deny the support hallelujah you know when samson was about to go in with dalila in the book of judges let's go to judges because sometimes before things happen god always warned us but so many of us we are so busy we don't care we don't care we are like i thought god was going to do it for me i thought God was that God was doing that already. So let me do another one. No. God is not a toy that you take and play with. You know, some people play with God. They are like they see fire. Fire is burning. They put their hands. They are like, I, I thought God was protecting me. Even if I put my hand in the fire, it will not burn me. The fact that God is protecting us doesn't warrant us to tempt God. Seeing a fire and putting your hand inside the fire, it is tempting the Lord. It is tempting God. Why tempt the Lord? Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Judges chapter 14, the Bible tell us, told us how Samson desired a wife of the Philistines, an enemy. Samson already know that this was an enemy, an opponent, who does not support these people, who does not support what the other side does. But yet, he desired a wife of them. Samson went down to Temnat and saw a woman in Temnat and of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in, ter in Temnat of the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, get her for me to wife. Then, in verse 3, the Bible says, His father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren? Or among all my people that thou goest to a wife? Of uncircumcised Philistine, and Samson said unto the father, Get her for me, for, for she pleased me well. In other words, it suits me well, it pleased me well, it is okay for me. 
One thing is for somebody to be warned. Another thing is for the person to hack him or to warn him. Samson, though the woman was pleasant in his eyes, though to him he felt that it suited him well, he was supposed to have listened to his parents when they spoke. There is an adage that says that what an old man sit down and he saw and he seen, a young boy can stand on a mountain he will not be able to see. So the things that we felt that it is beautiful for us, it suits us well. Is that the will of God for us? These are things. These are the things that we need to ask ourselves. The person that we want to come into our life, that person that is so handsome, so beautiful to behold, is it the one that God wants for us? Or it is just our own way, our own eyes, our own flesh, our attitude that wants such person? Child of God, pay attention. Because when God is warning us against something, we have to be very careful. Because if we don't, we will miss it. If we are not careful, we will miss it. God loves you so much. That is why he's sending you this message through me. I am just an instrument in the hands of God. I am just an instrument in the hands of God. If we are talking about those that really merit carrying the gospel of Christ, I don't merit it. Because I am a not, I am nothing. I am a nobody that God has chosen to make something out of. Sometimes I might not know how to worship God rightly. Sometimes I might not know how to pray rightly. Sometimes I might not know how to live holy life rightly. But it is God that chooses whom he uses. I want you to know, child of God, because God loves you so much, he don't want you to perish. He don't, he don't want you to fall into that Philistine's daughter. He don't want you to become a prey in the hands of the uncircumcised Philistine. No matter how beautiful the help of the enemy might look, please deny it. I beg you. Deny it. Deny it. If something have heard, have take heed to his parent and says, Okay, I've heard you. Maybe there are beautiful women among the brethren. Maybe there are beautiful women among the among your people. Let me look for though this one was very pleasant in my eyes, but I've had you. He will, he will not have end up the way he ended. It was never written anywhere in the Bible that something, this is how something will end. It was not written that, oh, he, uh, something will be born, he will be so powerful, a razor will not touch his head, but this is how he will die. No. He created his own, his own paths that lead to his death because he refused to listen. That is to tell you that no matter how anointed a man is, he can make mistakes. These are the chosen one, as in Samson was chosen by God. The Bible says that any word that comes out from the mouth of Samson, God honors it. God honors it. That is how powerful Samson was. That is how anointed Samson was. Is it me and you that don't even have such anointing that should not listen to warning? That cannot fall. That is why we need to be very careful. We need to be careful. The Bible says he went down and talked with the woman. And she pleased something well. He pleased something well. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Child of God. No matter how beautiful the offer is. If it is coming from a place where they want you to exchange your soul, where they want you to exchange your salvation, where they want you to exchange your freedom, where they want you to where they want you to exchange your happiness, please deny it. 
no matter how beautiful the offer is, deny it. Because the danger ahead, it is more dangerous than the beauty in what they are offering. I pray that this word will help us so that we don't think we know it all. We don't think we know it all and become a prey in the hands of our enemy. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.